Hello, it's Branch Hard Leverage and Lean back again with another macro video. In this video, I want to show you an Excel macro that will allow you to create a custom questionnaire and export the answers directly to a file. Let's see it in action. All right, let me show you this new macro by navigating to Excel and you can see this Excel workbook that I've created, which allows you to create a custom questionnaire that can then export the answers to a separate file. Now the way this questionnaire would work and is structured is someone would select a role from this dropdown and this dropdown is actually being pulled in and referenced from the roles worksheet here in column A indicates all of the role options and then the preceding columns to the right indicate the questions that should display based on the role that is selected in that cell. If the preceding columns are blank to a role, I'm going to pull in every single question indicated in the questions worksheet here. So question one will pull in from column A, B, C preceding. And then in the second role here, I'm looking to determine what is the question type that we're pulling into this questionnaire. Is it a yes, no question? Is it a list? Which then looks to the answers all listed below here as far down as you want to go. Or is it a free text field where you're just typing in a response into that answer cell? So let me show you how this works when we run this macro. So I would indicate in this cell what role I'm selecting. Let's say I'm selecting row two. And then I would look to determine what row two, what questions are necessary for that row. You can see I'm going to pull in every single question indicated in this worksheet. And then all someone would have to do is click the generate button to pull in all of those questions and then answer them to finish exporting their answers. So just yes, no fields, answer fields, free text, And once the questionnaire is finished, all someone has to do is click finish to export those answers to a separate file. And by default, the file is going to be saved to the active workbooks folder. So wherever you have this questionnaire saved, that separate file is going to be saved there. You can change the path to save this really wherever you want. I also put in some additional VBA code, which will allow you to generate an email and send this as an email attachment. So let me just show you what happens with just saving the file to the active workbooks location. So all you do is click finish. You get a nice message box saying, thank you for completing the questionnaire. And then I can show you what has really happened here. So I have this folder where this questionnaire is saved. And you'll also see another file that was generated. And I've named this in a way that indicates the role, the date, and the time. So as users drive over to this questionnaire and start to complete it, you'll start to see separate files saved with their answers and what roles and questionnaires were available at the time they answered it. Now this Excel workbook can be extremely powerful with some simple updates, really using the roles and the questions to gather information and then getting it where it needs to be. Let me show you what this looks like with some quick updates. And there you go. After some quick updates, I changed the name of this workbook to ordering replacement parts, which actually populates this cell to the name of the active workbook. And again, by looking at the role field, you can see some typical responses to put in here to indicate what questions need to be answered by referencing the roles and questions tab. Now, one thing I would do is if I was actually going to put this in front of someone to complete, I wouldn't want them to be able to update the roles and questions worksheet. It's really easy to lock down these worksheets by going to review and then over to protect sheet. Go ahead and enter in a password and click OK. It will prompt you to re-enter a password. And then once you've locked down a worksheet, you should see, this may be in newer Epic versions, a locked icon on that worksheet. You can again do the same thing for the questions worksheet. And there you go. You've really locked in what someone would be able to update on this workbook. So really all that's being done is the selection of the role, the generation of the answers, and then the export of those answers. All right, so let's go ahead and make a selection. Let's say I select the senior engineer. I expect to see all of the questions available for this role. 
I'll go ahead and generate and you'll see those lined up to be answered. So really someone would be expected to populate these answers and then click finish to submit them. And there you go. All you have to do is click finish to save these answers to a separate file and it's going to save to the active workbooks folder path. You can change that folder path. I also did something with the finish macro here and it's going to create an email with this new file as an email attachment. And there you go, you get the separate file saved to the active workbooks folder path, you get the email that pops up. Now what I would expect you to do is update the VBA code enough so, so you have a recipient in the to field and you feel comfortable with the way this displays and I would automatically send this. I would not want someone completing the questionnaire to see this email. I would just expect them to click finish and then move on. Now this Excel questionnaire is extremely customizable, whether it's the questions or the answers pulling in, you could really make it your own. And then those finishing actions, here's just a couple examples of what you can do with this. Let me know if you need any help getting this set up and using this in your processes today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome. Thank you so much for taking time to view this video. I really do appreciate it. If you want to start using the macro, I've seen the video of a link in the description. If you could do me another big favor, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay updated on any new videos that I'm posting. Like us, follow us on all of our other social media channels. And as always, stay awesome.